Okay, hi guys, it's Sean here, and I've got some new things to show you in the latest build. Uh, what I wanted to show you firstly was uh, some of the new multiplayer stuff. So this is how you select a multiplayer server. There's the server there. It's only currently only one server, but it's the server that I'm running. Um, so we select that, and then we click join, and off we go. So I've been working on improving the interface and the lobby. Uh, for multiplayer. So when you spawn in now um, you'll be floating in front of the base. The big bubble sphere that you can see around the base is the safe zone. It only appears during multiplayer. Um, now we can use the d-pad um, to switch between the bases and sort of lay to pick the base that you want to spawn at. If you can't spawn at this particular base it'll actually tell you down below that uh, that base is unavailable because somebody else is, is over the landing pad at the time. Um, or if you've just crashed, you'll have a respawn timer. So uh, with that said, um, I'll pick Alpha Base. And here we are. Now, in multiplayer, you can use uh, the weapon systems. And to switch into, or to be able to use them, you need to switch over to the targeting mode. So looking at the, um, the navigation computer, if we press Y, uh, it switches to uh, targeting mode. And it currently says no targets. That's because there's nobody in the server. Um, now, um, if there was somebody in the server, um, which I'm going to set up somebody, um, I'll just uh, show you how that works in a minute. I'm just going to pause this for a second. Okay, so uh, on the server I've spawned in another player, and he's currently cruising along. You can see there his name is uh, Nav, well, the Nav target is a player. Uh, he's a cadet and his name is host and that's how far away he is. So now you'll see that there's actually a targeting sphere in front of me and it says that I'm in the safe zone in front of me. So I'm going to turn around. Now if we, you can see the navigation heading display says nav P. That's pointing to his direction. And we should be able to see him now. There he is over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly over towards him and target him and shoot him down. Now, the way this works is that you need to be within 200 meters of the target before you can start acquiring a lock. So we're almost there, we're 250 at the moment, we're approaching him. I'll just do a little flyby before I actually, uh, there we go, it's acquiring. And we've got the shoot queue, this means uh, our missiles will lock onto him. match his velocity. You'll see that to be able to, uh, to get the lock, um, he has to be within the targeting sphere or the targeting cone. Trying to get a bit closer here. Don't want to crash into him. There he is. Okay, so um, with the missiles you can only fire two of them at a time, or you can only have two missiles airborne at a time. He's down. There he goes. Okay, so um, some of the other things that I'd like to show um, in this build is that I've added some additional uh, menu options. So I'm just going to um, watch him pull out of the sky. There he goes. So uh, if you press start when you're in the cockpit, it pops up this menu. Some of you will be familiar with this. So some of the new things I've added. Um, in the settings now, you can actually adjust your graphic settings. Um, there's a bug there. Uh, yeah, not to worry about that one. We'll fix that one up later. Um, so yeah, you can adjust the usual things you want to want to uh, want to adjust. In here, I've only uh, uh, provided three options. This is the dev kit resolution. 
Uh, this is the HD prototypes resolution and this is uh, another 16x10 resolution if you um, wanted to run it at that resolution to uh, take advantage of the image, image quality improvements. Um, so this is all pretty standard stuff. Um, and um, in addition to that we have replays. So in here now if you've recorded any replays, um, currently it's not possible to specify whether you're going to record or actually save them out, but if you're using the standard 2D mode uh, of Lunar Flight, um, you will be aware of uh, the uh, replay system which asks you to save, you, uh, if you want to save a, a replay after completing missions, <clears throat> or in fact you can trigger the recording to start at any time if you're doing a free flight. So um, here are some demos that we have here. <clears throat> uh, at the top you can select the replay type for all the different things you do, so free flight survey, transport missions, cargo and time trials. <coughs> and I think what I will do, I'll show you a time trials because I don't think many people have seen that one. So we've selected it, um, tells us a little bit of information about it and we'll select load. Here we go. So uh, the replay system is a great way to, to show off Lunar Flight to your friends who might be a bit intimidated by the uh, control schemes and everything. Um, in fact, this is how I demonstrate the game um, at PAX Oz. Uh, I just ran a, a, a replay uh, um, which gave people a good sense of what the game was like um, and but didn't have the, uh, the challenge of actually flying it themselves. So this is the time trial system. Um, some of you probably haven't seen this, but it's it's pretty self-explanatory. You uh, you fly through a series of rings. Looks like um, as I came to this from the multiplayer mode, it's it's uh, still got some targeting information set in there. Uh, in fact, yes, you can actually see the um, the player that I shot down just previously down there on the ground, which is in this area. Uh, so another thing you can do in the replay is if you press the A button, you can actually switch to external views now. So we've got this one, which is like a chase camera. Uh, this one, which is a flyby camera. And we can look around. And back. Uh, you can actually access these cameras in the normal gameplay, but they're uh, currently bound to F1, F2 and F3 keys, just respectively, for each mode. But surprisingly this works quite well. I, I, I was um, concerned that uh, noise might be an issue, but I think because you're, um, you're at an observation point observing what's going on, it actually doesn't feel too bad. Uh, and the camera, you know, the camera doesn't roll around very much, so uh, it's pretty cool. Okay guys, well uh, that's the latest in the latest build. All this stuff is available now. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.